Hello, my name is Shelley Appleton, and this is how I train horses to be calm, willing, and confident. So this is my recommended training progression that I use. So I advocate the following steps and phases when training and retraining horses. So first of all, I start in the round penning with a very simple round penning process. Then I introduce groundwork. So for a period of a training session, I will round pen and then I will add on groundwork. Then I go to a phase of just groundworking the horse. And I'll groundwork the horse in the arena and, you know, all around the place. Then what happens is I introduce the saddle. And when I introduce the saddle, I go back to the round pen and reestablish that particular phase of training. Because you'll be surprised what a saddle can do for a horse's, um, horse's emotions and how they feel, especially if they've never worn one before, but also if they've had a bad experience and bad association with being ridden. Then what I do, I also include some groundwork. So there's a period of time where I'll ground, well, I'll round pen the horse with a saddle and also groundwork. Then when that's all going really well, I will introduce riding. Okay, so there'll be a period of time where I'll groundwork. Um, there'll also be some round penning in there, and then I introduce just sitting on the horse and very simple things. And then that will progress up into walk, trot, and canter in the round pen. Then I progress, I leave the round pen and I go out into the arena where I'll still start off with some groundwork and then do some foundation riding. And then it's just after a number of weeks, it takes about four to seven weeks, depending on the horse, then I'll be back just riding them. So I won't have to do any kind of round penning or groundwork because that phase is really consolidated. Um, then just a little note about my mouthing progression because I get asked a lot about it. So all my foundation riding I do is bitless. Um, my favourite type of bitless arrangement is just a side pull. So I have a lovely side pull. However, if you don't have a side pull, I really like the hybrid halters and just riding off the hybrid halters as a side pull because it's got good metal rings at the side that I clip rope reins to. Um, then when the horse gets really proficient at walk, trot and canter and they're really relaxed and they do downward transitions just off my seat, then I progress to adding a bit. So they carry a bit around, but I still guide them off the bit list. So they get used to just carrying a bit around. Then what happens is I progress and I'm just still working on the same things, just walk, trot and canter, upwards and downwards transitions, a lot of bending, etc and getting the horse um, off my seat etc and then I progress from them just carrying the bit and at the end of the session I will actually swap the reins onto the bit and just work on some lateral flexion. Then I progress then um, and when I'm just doing lateral flexion with the bit I should say I'm still guiding off the bit the side pull arrangement. Then what I do, I start um, adding on some, some uh, more guiding off the bit. So I always start off guiding bitless and then I transition to guiding from the bit. And I always make sure I do it at the end of the session. And the time that I transition to, the time that I guide off the bit gets longer and longer. Then I uh, get rid of the side pull and I'm just guiding off the bit. And when the horse does that really nicely and that's, that, that learning is really consolidated and the horse has shown a lot of mastery and a lot of they're very calm, willing and confident <laughs> with being guided off the bit, then I progress to teaching them all about contact. Okay, and I start picking them up and start um, trying to, and not trying but teaching them teaching them the posture arrangements um, that they'll need to be able to develop gymnastically. Okay, so if you want to find out more about me, go to calmwillingandconfidenthorses.com.au. I've got courses, I've got coaching, both face-to-face -face if, if I'm nearby, as well as online coaching. I give clinics, you'll find eBooks, blogs, and of course a great community through my social networks. Thank you.